Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. You are adjusting or trying to adjust to the time change. It's a little easier than it will be when we spring forward, I'm sure, uh, with the little extra hour. You don't get extra hours Monday. You just got that Sunday. <laughs> so hopefully we realize that. We don't get an extra hour every day this week. But uh, anyhow, let's read from the book of Matthew in chapter 22. In verse 34 it says, But when the Pharisees heard, had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him, saying, Master, or saying, and, and asked him, questioning rather, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He saith unto them, how then doth David in spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then call him Lord, how is he his son? And no man was able to answer him a word, neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. So here these um, men were these pharisees had come they had or they had heard that jesus had already put to silence the sadducees so they were going to give it their shot and this is like a debate and so when they asked jesus what was uh, the greatest commandment in the law he said to love the lord thy god with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and the second is like unto the first, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The song I'm going to sing, I've sang it here a while back, says, Just let me fall. And it's talking about falling in love with the Lord. Sometimes it is important, if you're in a relationship, um, you've been married for years, and uh, you become, uh, how would I say, it becomes uh, convenient. It becomes uh, something that, if you're not careful, you you take for granted. It just your spouse maybe is just you. You expect that when you come home, she'll be there or he'll be there, and everything will be as it has been. And sometimes I think it's good, and well, oftentimes I think it's good. Um, uh, that you plan a night to get away or you plan time together uh, as a, a couple to to make sure that relationship doesn't fail, but to renew or rekindle that relationship. And I think it's very important for us to do the same thing with God. We go through a lot of things in our lives and, and uh, life is a struggle. At times uh, things are good, and at times things are hard and difficult. But it is important that we understand that we uh, need to have a desire to love God now more than ever and uh, to walk with Him closer than we have and to show that love to others as well. Lord, you brought me through sorrow and pain you were there every time that I called. You reached down and lifted me out of sin and shame. But tonight, Lord, just let me fall. Let me fall. all over again let me know you as never before let me hear your tender voice say 
ain't let me come in let me willingly open the door I've walked through the winter face that's cold as steam but the springtime Brought the strength to stand tall And too long a summer Without any rain Was left lord But to have a great fall Let me fall all over again let me know you as never before let me hear your tender voice saying let me come in let me willingly open the door Tonight, Lord, just let me fall. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us, Lord. I thank you for the opportunity to look into your word today, to realize, Lord, that uh, we uh, need to love you with our whole heart, uh, with our whole uh, being with our heart, our soul, our mind, and and our neighbor as ourself, God. We love you. We thank you. We pray that you would draw us closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you Tuesday.